How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. And I want to talk about the All-Star Weekend. It's now behind us. And I got to say, bravo to the NHL. That All-Star Weekend was the best one, and I can't even remember how long. Just, just a feel-good story about the John Scott situation. And, man, congratulations to John Scott. The guy... I mean, he had a smile on his face. He was such a professional about it. There were some dark moments when he got traded, you know, but the NHL got their heads out of their asses. They did the right thing, and the guy was such a professional about it. I love how he chirped Jeremy Roenick on the bench. I love how he hit Patrick Kane and went in on a breakaway. Guy had two goals. I mean, just, ah. Like I said, feel-good story. Like, I really felt... Like, I had a smile on my face watching the, watching the All-Star game this year. Fantastic, right? And, you know... It reminded me, watching the All-Star uh, All game this year just reminded me of good memories playing hockey. Like, recently, it's like, you know, everything about hockey has become, you know, uh, very serious, very, very professional. Uh, it's all about competition. It's all about winning. But just seeing the All-Star game three-on-three -three with John Scott in there reminded me of the times I used to play street hockey. I mean, he's out there, and no one would argue that he's on the same skill level as the other players. But because it's three-on-three, three and it's an all-star game, and everyone's just having a fun time, he can hold his own. It's fun. Like, everyone's smiling. It's just a feel-good story. It reminds me of what hockey truly is. Anyone and everyone can just play it and have a good old time and make some friends. Just have a smile on your face, and that's what I had the entire weekend. So bravo to the NHL for getting the decision right. Bravo to John Scott. Congratulations on getting the MVP. And also, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back! No! Son of a gun! And also, I think the biggest congratulations has to go to the awesome fans of Nashville. You guys made that. Chanting MVP for the man, making him... You gave, you gave him the best hockey moment of his entire life, Nashville. So, good on you guys. You made the Nash, you made uh, the All-Star game this year. Fantastic. All right, so let's focus in on the shootout here. Tyler Sagan coming in. I haven't done these in a while. Let's do a... Uh, a, a I don't even know the names. From, where'd she go? There we go, babe. That's not the where'd she go. That's the reach around. Yeah. Where'd she go is behind the net with Kryptonite. I haven't even played this game, man. Jesus. ESHL. It's still got the host glitch, uh, uh, shootouts. I gotta get back into it. Luongo. Oh, coming in. Oh, glove save there, Roberto Luongo. Hey, Vancouver, how's Ryan Miller treating you? <laughs> Luongo and Corey Schneider. Luongo was a beast in that uh, breakaway challenge. He sh he's like stopped them all. Fantastic. And Corey Schneider, why couldn't you let John Scott get that spinorama goal? That would have been sweet. <laughs> you see his face after? Ah, oh, such a good sport. Here we go, here we go. John Tavares. John Tavares coming in. Coming in, fake. Fake, up and over. Oh, baby! Holy crap, John Tavares! He, he I, I thought he was going to save it. There was no room to put that in. He roofed, he shelved it. Jonathan Quick taking away the bottom part of the net. Not good enough. Nice job there, Johnny T. Kopitar, the new rich Slovenian. Coming in. Oh, uh, dirty birdie, baby! Yeah! Spend a few million. Work on getting that backhand to the top of the net. What the hell? Nice save there, Bobby Lou. All right, let's keep this up. Uh, Johnny Goudreau. Oh, man. Hit the post a few times. Let's come down and do a nice little wrist shot low blocker. Boom. Boom. Ooh. He stood up with it. Should I shot a little bit higher? I thought it was wide open. Hi <sighs> Nice save there. Quick. Didn't even go down. Tyler Toffoli coming in. Take a stranglehold. Come on, Luongo. No, I went the wrong way. I completely went the wrong way. I got way ahead of myself right there. I'm sorry, Florida Panther fans. I made your goalie look like a goof. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. What's the score? Uh, t okay, I gotta t put this in. Rick the dick. Rick the dick. Rick the dick. Uh, fake. Oh, turn. Oh, turn back. Oh, baby! That was dirtier than I wanted it to be. Nice job there, Rick Nash. Look at this. Goes back to his forehand and then just gets that little angle that he needs. And oh, baby. Kneel before Rick the dick, baby. Hell yeah. All right, let, let's end this. Milan Lucic. I haven't done it to this guy. Maybe he won't be accept, ex expecting it. Flying poke check. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's for hitting Ryan Miller all those years ago. That's right. I'm GM Superb, man. I, I get him back. And the green all-stars take it. Yeah. So, boys, what did you guys think about the all-star weekend this time? Um, you know, the three-on-three -three format with the two games, I think I really like that. Because four-on-four -four or five-on-five -five for the all-star game... The guys aren't trying anyways, so when there's not that much ice out there and they're not trying, it really shows. But because it's three on three, they have to skate, you know, you have to skate or you look like a goof. So, 
Yes, they're NHL players, but because the ice is so big and there's only three of them, it actually looks like it's more competitive out there. At least it did to my in my perspective. I know that they were uh, they weren't skating at full speed, but like I saw back checking, I saw people trying to play defense, I saw one timers and slap shots. I really like the idea of paying the winning team out money wise. Either they can give it to charity or they can hold it on to themselves. So. I think the NHL did a great job with the uh, All-Star game this year, and I think we figured out something that we can use in the future to maybe add something else to that All-Star game, and that's the feel-good story. You know, guys like Crosby and, uh, and Ovechkin and Taves, you know, they don't care about coming to the All-Star game, fine. But there are plenty of NHL players who have been soldiers for the NHL for 10 plus years who have never made it to the All-Star game that you can allow to come and the All-Star game could be about them. Next year, bring Brian McGratton or Rafi Torres or, or you know, like go, go George Peros, go get somebody who, who's been here in the NHL for like 10 plus years, who's never made it, allow them to come to the All-Star game, let the fans vote on one or two tough guys each year and boom, let them play with the, the top guns because these guys... When they're in the All-Star game, it's like they're playing in the Stanley Cup final. And when you're watching it, you don't need to see the best players dogging it out there. Give me a guy who's got a big smile on his face, who everyone's cheering for, and he's trying. That will make me watch the game far more than these studs who don't even take it seriously, right? So, just bravo to the NHL. Congratulations to John Scott, and way to go, Nashville. You guys made a great weekend for everyone. All right, boys, so let me know what you guys think about it, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>